Today I am going to be making music using only the soundtrack from Animal Crossing New Leaf. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've gone ahead and I've downloaded the entire New Leaf soundtrack. There is a whole lot of songs here. There is a whole lot of stuff to work with. So this should be a whole lot of fun. Now just because there is so many songs, I feel like I should be able to make an entire beat using only the sounds from the soundtrack. I won't need to bring in any other samples or anything like that. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the soundtrack quickly. And then I'm just going to pull in the songs which have sounds which I think I could use. Oh, that is good. Oh, I'm definitely going to be using that. Pull that sample in. The soundtrack is actually so good. It has so much potential. Oh, I'll use this somewhere definitely. Pull that in. I'll probably be able to use that one. We'll pull that in. Oh, I like that one sample there. Pull that in. Ah, oh, we'll be able to use the little guitar pluck. So I think I'll just start things off by chopping up these songs that I have here. And then I can go through and find extra sounds when I need them. So I just need to pull this sample into the arrangement view. And I'm just going to be looping these chords here. Oh, those are going to work really well. So we'll just chop it there and now I just need to fit it to the tempo. And then I'll just loop this section over here. Just like that. And there we go. I think this first loop should be taken care of. That is going to work for now. It still needs a bit of tidying up, but I'll fix this later on. Yeah, that's going to be good. Let's drag that in. Cut it out, just like that. Now I just need to match the key, and I might also drag the time out a bit. <laughs> that works really well. I think I might just need to rearrange it a bit. Actually, I just thought of an easier way to do this, so I'm just going to slice it to a new MIDI track. And now I'm just going to use my launch pad to play these chopped up notes. So let's go ahead and record in our melody. Yeah, that is sounding good. So now I might just take this loop here and I'm just going to put some effects on it. We'll go for a reverb, a delay, all of that kind of stuff. I might also put a filter on it just to get rid of that high violin sound which plays at the end. I'm liking the sound of that, so I'm actually going to duplicate this. And now I'm just going to pitch this one up an entire octave and I'm going to put a very wet reverb onto it. Yeah, just like that. Now let's bring in our melody. Oh yes, that is sounding so chill. So let's go ahead and figure out what our next instrument is going to be. It's obviously not that. Ooh, that'll come in handy later. So I'm feeling like I could use one of these sounds. I might actually just take that first little hit right there. So let's just take this track and I'm just going to clip out the first little sound. And then I'll just bring it into a simpler... That sounds quite nice. I might just put a reverb on it. And then I can probably go ahead and record in a melody. And I'll probably just keep the melody the same as the guitar one. Let's go ahead and record it. Ah, that was easy. Now I might actually just duplicate this sound. And I'm going to record in another melody using the same thing. This one will just be a higher melody. Let's go ahead and record it. That sounds quite nice. So I think the next sound which I'm going to use is this sound here. Now I just need to pull it into a simpler and we can start playing some chords. Let's do this. Yeah, that is going to do. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how things are sounding so far. I think it's time to start bringing in some drums. So I'm just going to go through the soundtrack and try find some samples which I could use. I could definitely use those. Let's pull this one in. So now I'm just going to slice this to a new MIDI track. Those sound pretty good. Let's record in a little rhythm with them. Whoa! That is sounding nice. Now I need to try to find a kick and snare somewhere. Oh, we got a snare roll. I'll keep that one in mind. Oh, actually, I'm going to loop this thing here. Yes, that is going to work really well. So let's just warp it to time. Uh, that should be alright. Let's give that a try. Yeah, that works pretty well. Let's just try it out with the other percussion sounds. Oh, yeah. 
So I might actually use this for my main snare. So I'm just going to chop that out and I'm going to bring in a drum rack and we'll just put that snare in there. I will also bring some of these snares in as well. Now let's try to find a kick somewhere. Ooh, that's a nice sound. I'll keep that one in mind for later on. This one here is perfect. Let's just chop out this kick sound and drag it into our drum rack. There we go. I'll also pull in the shaker sound as well. That's pretty good. Oh, I might actually chop out this drum roll. <laughs> oh, I could layer up that sound there. Oh no, why does it have to have that other sound in there? Oh, perfect. So I'll just bring this snare into my drum rack as well. Oh, I actually think I like that one more. At least we have a cowbell there. I don't know if I'll use it, but I'll pull it in anyway. So I think I have pretty much all of the drum samples that I'm going to need. So I'm just going to go through and edit the samples slightly. I'll put on a few effects here and there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this shaker and I'm going to try to turn it into a hi-hat. So just make it shorter. We'll probably pitch it up a bit. That is already starting to sound better. So now I'm just going to group it and we're just going to duplicate this over. And I'll just swap it over with a utility. And I might just offset this one a tiny bit. There we go. Now next up, I'm just going to take the snare sound. And I don't think I have to do very much with this. I might just pitch it up a little bit. I think it's a bit low at the moment. And I might also just put on some saturation. And a little bit of EQ wouldn't hurt. Yeah, that sounds quite nice. So now I just need to take care of this kick drum. I think I'll pretty much just do the same thing as with the snare. Might pitch it down a bit. That is sounding quite nice. Let's go ahead and record in our drum beat. Easy! Now I'm quickly just going to record in some more drums with this shaker. Just like that. So now I think the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a bass sound which I can use. I'm pretty sure that I found one before. I can't remember which song it was though. I might be able to use that guitar pluck right there. Nah, that is not working. I'll get rid of that. I was just thinking that I might actually be able to use the sound which I use for these chords here. All I have to do really is just pitch it down an octave. Oh, that is perfect. Let's go ahead and record in our bass line. Yeah, I think that is gonna do. So I'm pretty happy with how the beat is sounding. I can't really think of any other things that I can bring in, but I'm just quickly gonna skim through the soundtrack and see if there's anything else. Ooh, I'll use those chime sounds. Ooh, I might clip that sound out. Actually, we'll just chop that part off there. And I'm just going to have it play these chords here. Let's give that a try. Those are sounding all right, and I'm just going to put a whole lot of effects onto it. And now after adding on these effects here, it is sounding like a pad. Sounds pretty good. So now that I'm done with that, I think I have pretty much everything that I need for this beat. As usual, I've gone ahead and edited on all of the finishing touches off camera. So here it is, my beat which was made entirely out of the New Leaf soundtrack. Enjoy!
So there we go, that is the finished beat. Make sure to go ahead and let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. I am pretty happy with how it turned out. There was a lot of stuff which I could pull from the original soundtrack. And I really like the fact that my beat sounded pretty close to the original style. I could have made a trap banger, but I think this style was a bit more appropriate. So yeah, anyway, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. I will see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.